happy new year. How was the holiday, Lucas? It was good. What do you do? I was uh, relaxing and yes. <laughs> yeah. Man of Adam, 39 years old, head coach on the 17. I came to Brumby in the summer. This, this is my first six months over here. First day uh, after, after three weeks, uh, three weeks uh, break is always uh, a messy because um, today uh, you have a schedule, but um, today there are six games. We must find another date because we know now when uh, uh, other teams go out with tournaments abroad. You must start up again. You must talk with the players, new places in the dressing room, new, uh, and I, there's always a mess. But uh, that's a nice mess uh, and a lot of meetings to arrange everything. But, uh, that everything runs very good after today. And then you come back over here and then you see the guys for the first time. And that's always nice to see them, uh, how they re the reaction is and how the holiday and uh, to wish them Happy New Year, the, the smile, but also the energy that you feel again in the locker room. <laughs> you, see, you saw the program in set. We have a lot of tests. Yeah, we start with the um, in the visual in the visual space. Then you have a break. Then we you can get uh, grab some lunch or bread with you. Then we have here a meeting about the preseason, about the style of play. And after that you have the um, test in the hall, the yo-yo test. Yeah, my name is Bennett. Jeg er 26 år, kommer oprindeligt fra Tyskland og har her en super spændende stilling som fysisk træner for Brøndby Akademi Masterclass fra u 19 og ned til u 13, hvor jeg har hovedansvaret for den fysiske træning. Vi har haft tre ugers fri. Første uge komplet fuldstændig fri i forhold til ikke at lave noget fysisk, men det er også en mental afkobling fra at være fodboldspiller. Og så har jeg fået noget program med hjem, både noget løbeprogram individuelt og noget individualiseret styrkeprogram. Og så møder de ind her i dag, øh, hvor vi skal have, have alle spillerne fra u 15 til 19 igennem nogle, øh, nogle antropometriske målinger. Det vil sige noget omkring vægt og højde, fordi der skal rigtig meget med, med unge spillere, øh, især når de resulterer og har fri fra fodbolden. Og så kommer de igennem noget hop, altså noget counter movement jump, øh, for at måle deres eksplosivitet, deres power fra under ekstremiteten. Jakob, hvad var det til? Det er rigtigt. Åh, nu var jeg ikke klart. Kan du se? Slet så. Alt på det. Kom så. Hvad var det? 35,5. Okay. Opad. Godt. 39, kom ind. Og den sidste. Alt. Før, kom ind. Knøbbel. Det var lavere end far, jeg ved. Ja, det var lavere end far. Den tæller ikke. Og bagefter har vi også noget, øhm, noget løb, øh, den klassiske jojo-test eller bip-test, som, som vi også kalder det. Hvor vi så måler deres øhm, tilstand efter at have været på ferie. Øhm, og så på baggrund af den kan vi så justere selve træning øhm, i løbet af de næste par uger. Kan vi tage noget op? Ja. Har du noget op? Ja. Sig lige, hvad er Har vi et Hvad? Hvad fik du? Hop. Hoppe. Hvad fik du til? 41 kommer til. Every day is tactical, because uh, we combine the physical parts a lot with the tactical, uh, uh, because then the players really knows what we want and the, and the behavior and the discipline and the intensity. This is about uh, planning the, the, the training uh, and the structure we make for 19 makes influence on 17 and that influence on 15 and on so That's why we're taking these meetings together with the, the coaches so we can uh, organize uh, in what direction we're going about. But for me, it's, 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 it's uh, every game is it's, the same. We don't watch a lot to the other team. We want to improve our style of play and they must bring it every game. And every game a little bit more, every game longer, every game harder, every game faster, uh, every game more secure in the passing. So, and that's that's what we try to uh, also ask the players from themselves. It's not, not always uh, do it for us, but the players must be uh, talk with to, together from, okay, how are we going to make the plus? So, so what I want us now is to talk a little bit about how we're going to organize that. And we're also going to talk about players, uh, uh, who should be uh, 
playing and training with which groups and so on. I og med at vores spillestil er meget, meget aggressiv, for eksempel i presset, øhm, så er det jo selvfølgelig nogle, øh, nogle fysiske krav, som øh, spillerne skal, skal kunne besidde, øhm, som vi også introducerer dem for i preseason, angående øh, for eksempel høj intensimeter på en, øh, en fuldbak for eksempel. Øhm, så er det selvfølgelig noget, vi gerne vil træne øh, den specifikke spiller øh, til at kunne gøre også i kamp. Øhm, og det er selvfølgelig noget, vi følger igennem vores træningsmonitorering med GPS-data, øh, så han kan blive forberedt på, på de aktioner, han skal have i kampen for eksempel. Ja, nok uenig. Ja. Det har ikke været der så lang tid til. Det er med klokken. Vi skal være der 14. Det er 5 minutter. minutter. Det er jo til så lykke. Ja, ja. Alle sammen. Ja. Hvad siger du? Jeg kan godt til flere, men der er 20. Det er jo ikke meget. Det er jo en... Ja, I know three weeks ago I was happy it was holiday because it's also uh, when you come abroad to talk everyday English, uh, everything is new. Uh, the first week I was really tired in Holland, I was sleep a lot. And after the, the second week, yeah, the, you want to be back on the pitch. And uh, of course, it's always hard to leave my uh, my family in Holland, but now I um, I'm hungry to go back on the pitch and uh, go train with the guys. Endelig jeg kommer i gang igen. Um, det er selvfølgelig også altid sådan en off season for os, hvor vi blandt andet planlægger, men også lige kobler af. Så vi glæder os sindssygt meget at komme i gang igen. Um, alle 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 træner omkring uh, omkring spilleren, og det gør spillerne sikkert også, fordi de savner selvfølgelig at være um, ja fodboldspiller, spille det de uh, elsker at gøre. Øhm, så det, det, det bliver en spændende dag, hvor vi blandt andet tester dem, men også bare øh, på, på det individuelle. Altså bare have det sjovt igen, både øh, hernede, øh, nede i omklædningen, ude på banerne. Øhm, det, bliver, det bliver en god dag og en god periode også for spillerne, men også, også staben. And during the week we have also talked a lot with the players. Uh, from uh, we talk here, we have master pass conversations, we have check-ins, and we have uh, uh, action plan. Uh, and with the master pass, we talk a lot about the players from. Uh, Uh, we do that two times in a year. That's not about football, but about life, about the, 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 the parents, the way, how they live, the school and everything around football. And the action plan is, is, is to make the skills of the, the player better. And then the check-ins, we do that with uh, a couple of uh, people around the step. And that's just fun, okay, how you feel today, or for, uh, hey, how you had an exam uh, last week, uh, how it's a, it's a good result or uh, something like that. So we also talk a lot with the players on how they feel and, and, and how they must perform. And tomorrow, nine o'clock, we have training session, 8.30, be here. And then you have a prep and be there at nine o'clock on the pitch. See you later. What you gonna ask me? I don't know. <laughs> oh shit, they hear everything what I say. So we play, how many games have we played now? 11 games? 10 times is the ref come to the sideline. Not for me, but for my assistant. And now it's done. Is it done? Against you. Now it's done with your commentary. Stop, please. And once I'm a yellow. And Only one time? I give him the name, Victor Kunde. Because no, no, my, but that's he's really good in that. I must sit every day with this guy in a room to talk about what we're gonna do with the training session.